Hey, hi, welcome back. In this session, let's see how you can upgrade the Compser version from 11.32 to 3.6 version, so which is a ma major upgrade. So the current version 11.32.x, which is called as the uh, the feature release. So we are going to upgrade that with the, the latest feature release, which is on 11.36. So for that, I have downloaded the software here. If I go over here in the desktop, I have this 11.36 uh, downloaded. So what I'll be doing, I have already extracted this in the folder. So uh, let's uh, you know extract this particular path here. So we have to, as a prerequisite, we have to run a disaster recovery backup. So let's run the disaster recovery backup. So full backup. So now it gives that uh, it's going to extract the files here. So the extraction started. Uh, in the meantime, let's monitor the job. Back to your uh, job controller, home and job controller. Okay, so we'll wait for this shop to complete. So let me pass the video and then come back. Okay, so the DR back is completed. So let's go back. Uh, if you want to see where these files are located, you have to go to that control panel and look for the DR backup. So this is the metadata location. Just verify in that location in the E drive, you have those files, the latest dumps. So you go to the E drive and this uh, location and today's date. So you have the files generated here. So this file is very important for recovery. So yeah, let's uh, close this one. And uh, let me close this console too. And the extraction is still taking place. I need to wait for some time. Okay, so you can see that the files has been extracted. So let's go to the process manager and then stop the convert services. services seems to be started stopped now so go to that uh, the folder and run the setup.exe file so that should be okay because this lab environment so go for the next edit go next and go for the next So this is what you have to select, upgrade the feature release. So it's going to do some pre-checks. So we don't want any DB maintenance. So let's go with the next. And so this option is required only when Commodore technical support uh, suggests you. So otherwise you can ignore and go for the next. So it says that uh, setup detected the older version of the software and please note that once you started the upgrade process it cannot be rolled back and you must finish it before you use the software. Yes, go for the next. Uh, requires a setup must be launched from the patch containing less than 72 characters. So, okay, so just go for the view logs here. 
so the log says that uh, it requires to be launched from the path containing less than 72 character and relocate the DVD to a shorter path so what we are going to do so let's exit this and uh, we are have to uh, move the so the installation path so clip location I'm going to cut and then paste it in P drive so we need to move it to a shorter path the previous path where we have that setup file is very long so that's the reason why we're getting that error uh, okay might be it's okay and so what we can do you can close this one and this one too and just cancel this and try again yeah now it is copying the reason why we got that error uh, that's because if you go to this path and we have copied in a bigger path right so if you see this it's a very long path so Commodore doesn't like that and it is asking to move to a shorter location so I have, I'm moving it to the E drive now so let's wait for that uh, copy to finish okay so now we have the setup file on the E drive root directory so let's run now Just check how much free space is available 50 GB here and 61 GB. I think that should be sufficient. Okay, so now there is an measurement install, so that should be okay. So we can go with that. So as you can see it is doing some pre upgrade check so let's wait for some time and then come back so it started installing some third party packages so now it's, uh, it's asking for a message like the machine the machine will be rebooted before setup so you can say yes go for the reboot and yeah that should be fine so it got disconnected now so you want to watch the console so this is a console for your bouncer okay so now the machine is rebooting Okay, so now we can connect to the remote extra. So now the machine is back. So what you have to do, you have to go to that E drive. And go to server manager. And run the setup again. click on the next okay it's okay so it's going to resume the installation from where it is left okay so now you can see that 
going to start the installation. So yeah, now you see that uh, the base release upgrade is completed. Now it is installing the, the maintenance release. Okay, so you can see that still the upgrade is in progress. So it's upgrading the, the databases. Okay, so the, up the upgrade is completed. So it is going to start the services. And finally, we have a fish. Uh, the upgrade is finished. So let's click on finish and then let's go to that uh, start menu, Commvault Process Manager, and let's see if all the services are started. Yeah, so we send generic warning because this lab environment I keep the server in off state most of the time and it's a virtual machine so just click yes here and go to the services so you can see that services are started now let's go to the start and then open the command center and parallelly open the console console also Let's open in the incognito mode and see. You can close this one. Okay, so now we got in command center back. And then when the console console went closed, so let me open that. Okay, so now we have a console also ready. So 11.36 is the version. And uh, if I go to the client computers, so these machines are on the lower version. So in the next session, we'll see how we can upgrade the, the media agents and VSA first.